Hi, this is Scott Geitler from Blue Water Photo, and today we're going to talk about the CNC housing for the new Canon T4i DSLR camera. Let's first talk about the T4i for a moment. The T4i uh, utilizes uh, Canon's latest 18 megapixel CMOS sensor, and it's Canon's uh, flagship entry level DSLR, and it is also our top choice for an entry level DSLR camera. The image quality in the sensor on that camera is impeccable uh, with the right Canon lenses like the Tekina Fisheye or the Canon 100mm or 60mm. You get incredible wide angle or macro shots. And uh, we recommend it much more than the Nikon entry level cameras because the T4i has a built in autofocus motor and the Nikon cameras do not. So, and it also takes exceptional video. All the Canons take exceptional video especially the T4i, which has improved autofocus over the, the T3i. So you're getting some nice autofocus for video, especially for wide angle. And it's a nice small camera at a great price. Let's talk about the underwater housings. There's three underwater housings that we recommend. The Icolite, the CNC, the Nauticam. This is the CNC. And what really makes this housing stand out is you get incredible build quality and ergonomics at a really, really great price. This housing is, is priced at around thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars, and with a little bit more money, you can get the standard port, which takes the Canon 18 to 55 millimeter lens and the Canon 60 millimeter EFS macro lens. So, even though this housing is technically made of polycarbonate, it doesn't feel like it. It really feels like an aluminum housing. It has the, the quality and uh, ergonomics of any aluminum housing you're not going to find any any other housing out there on the market at that price point with these kind of great controls and camera tray and how it opens and how the port comes on and off at that price so it's really an exceptional value that combined with the T4i camera is one of the best values on the market let's take a look at how we take the standard port on and off it's very simple we just push here and rotate and the port comes right out and you can put it back on, push it in, turn, and it's in. It's locked. It's very secure. It's a great port mechanism. Opening and closing the housing is also very easy. Just do the latches. It comes right up. You have a very nice large O-ring that's very easy to see if it's clean or not. It comes in and out very easily. Um, you got a nice smooth surface here, which is which. I like, I think it's important for preventing leaks and, and this housing is very difficult to flood. There's a nice little camera tray the camera goes on, sits in there, close up the housing and you're good to go. You have a really nice large shutter button, you have a control dial here and you have large easy to use buttons for all the controls on the back of the camera. And this housing also has an optional bulkhead for a sync cord, which I do recommend if you want to do faster action shooting, because uh, the Canon Rebel series can take a little while sometimes for the internal flash to recycle when you're using fiber optics. And it does come with two built-in fiber optic connections. Um, the housing does not come with the trayer handles, but you can get uh, an inexpensive ultralight train handle, which works great or you can get the nicer CNC train handles. Um, but even factoring that into the cost, this is still a great, a great bargain for a housing. And um, all of our customers who have one are very happy with it. So if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to uh, give us a call or visit us at uh, bluewaterphotostore.com. And thanks for watching the video.